Hello there, it's uh, Thomas again and uh, with the third part of the tutorials and uh, this time it's about the sequencer screen. That's actually the screen where you uh, 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 arrange and order your, all your patterns to create loops and songs. So uh, you can reach a sequencer screen uh, from every point uh, by pressing a sequencer button and you get, get back to the sequencer screen. Um, so first what you see, you see like uh, the eight columns and those are the eight tracks. First six tracks for the CV gate outputs and track seven and eight for the uh, samples. Um, then uh, on the left you see uh, uh, the pattern rows, row numbers. Um, you can simply navigate with the cursor keys up, down, left, right and you can also go below there and reach the rest of the, all the sequencer rows in complete uh, 254 rows. Uh, you can also uh, faster navigate by using the up and down buttons. It's like page up, page down. It goes one complete page up or down or down or up. Okay. Um, then on the right you see the project name, uh, the current uh, um, tempo of the song. Uh, if there is some transpose set. Uh, global transpose and if it's edit uh, enabled. Uh, down there you see the six uh, uh, CV gate tracks and then you, there you can see uh, the value, values that are playing currently. Um, you will see it uh, later in this video. Uh, also below there you see uh, four sample slots and you can see which sample is triggered at this point. Uh, at the bottom you see the status line with uh, status information and on the right bottom there's the time. Okay, to create a, a new pattern in the sequencer screen you press the OK button. So it makes a new empty pattern. Uh, you can insert the same pattern at uh, every point in, in the sequencer screen, at every row or column. Uh, which is for the CV gate because it's CV gate pattern that we just created. So uh, to insert a uh, pattern that's already uh, used, you press shift and right or left right and then you can navigate between the uh, pattern numbers. So uh, for example I make uh, just a few more patterns. Three, four. Let's insert here five, six. Those are all new patterns that are created. And on track 3, because it's the same as the CV gate track, you can also insert all the patterns that I used for other tracks. To delete a, a pattern again, and then it's only deleting from the sequencer screen, you don't delete actually the pattern, you press shift and delete, and it's, uh, it's gone. Um, you can also uh, clone a pattern, so uh, uh, for example pattern 0, there's some uh, music behind it, so we'll get that uh, in another video. Uh, you can clone the whole content of the pattern by holding shift and pressing OK. And now uh, the content of the pattern is cloned or copied into a new pattern. Um, then there are some uh, uh, um, functions to copy and paste in the sequencer screen. So uh, to uh, uh, copy to the clipboard you should press shift and mark and then you can select some uh, uh, a part. You press shift and mark again. Now this part is copied into the clipboard. I can uh, now insert it everywhere I want. For example I press now shift and copy and now the same uh, uh, pattern order, the pattern uh, uh, or, or the, the this part, the copied part, is also uh, the clipboard part, part is copied there. You can also copy and insert so uh, uh, that these uh, rows are shifted down. And uh, for that, you press shift down and copy. And then this part is inserted and the rest is shifted down. Um, 
and so there are more uh, uh, copy and uh, uh, paste stuff you can also delete and shift up so with that you can just uh, insert uh, things um, I will uh, load the project now and then I will get uh, uh, into some details of the sequencing okay so uh, there's my project you can see uh, like there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of patterns already uh, inserted there um, so if you go down you see like uh, a lot of uh, numbers so in fact again those are the pattern numbers that you can see and behind that there are actually the music notes as you can see here but we stay with the sequencer screen um, so uh, you see uh, two different parts of uh, pattern combination because uh, the sequence is running top down uh, you can see like uh, I call it an island where the pattern is alone or uh, and in that case this uh, uh, one pattern will always play in a loop so uh, uh, it's not chained or anything it's with just a uh, uh, play alone I will uh, show it uh, uh, in a second and here like there are four or let's say here there are two patterns together uh, uh, combined also in an island but then uh, combined and that means that it will play uh, uh, the two patterns after each other and it will jump back to this one it will play 11, 14 and then if it's, when it's finished it will play uh, go back to the 11 so in this case by uh, a chaining you can chain four patterns together like this but you can chain many many patterns together like this and create actually whole songs okay so to play uh, the start playing yeah of course you press the start button and then will it will start with one track you see only the first track is playing currently on top you see uh, the main clock and that represents uh, 64 steps of course a pattern can be uh, uh, less steps up to one step but uh, or even less than one step but on top you see always the main clock uh, uh, and you could see if it's now 64 uh, steps and um, the most patterns I filled in here are 64 steps uh, it will start when the main clock is ready so I will add another track so you see it, it synch starts synchronized uh, uh, the next track if you press start the next one and it keeps playing this one uh, uh, part in a loop because they are an island so uh, they are on an island okay we'll start uh, uh, more of those no, a bit higher. and of course I can trigger more than one pattern to start uh, to stop uh, stop the patterns, you just uh, press stop, and uh, the pattern will stop when it's finished. So, depending on how many steps the pattern has, uh, it will stop after 64 steps or after 16 steps or whatever. Uh, the same when the pattern is playing, you can press stop twice, and then it will stop immediately. I will. So then it will stop immediately. To stop the whole sequencer, you press shift and stop, and then it uh, stops the whole thing. And now, of course, it's not starting again uh, 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 in a synchronized uh, manner. So, uh, again, to show like the islands, you see it's a fallen floor, and then we'll go back there. And maybe you see the small dot here, there you can see. Uh, uh, which track, will, uh, which pattern will play next? Of course, it, now it's starting syn uh, synchronous again. So there you can see uh, which one is uh, uh, playing next. Oop. Okay. And I can always jump out also of these islands and go back to another part. Uh, and it will actually go to the other part when one pattern is finished. So I will do that now, and then I get the shuffled uh, uh, beats, and OK. 
Okay, play a bit. And trigger some patterns and stop them. So this kind of live mode. Um, where you can just uh, trigger the stuff, but also you see, uh, you would see in a minute uh, below when you chain them to make a re uh, complete songs. Uh, you can also, uh, and that's that's another thing. You see on the top position, you see the four dots. Um, those are like a quantization uh, points or Q points, and you can actually start. Uh, each pattern also at one of these cue points instead of uh, like at the end of the uh, uh, of the of the, the, the 64 steps. So uh, if I want to have the bass drums now just in between at one cue point, you press start twice. I will do that now. You see, stop again. Um, yeah, with that you can uh, uh, have another st start in of the, of the pattern. But you can also change these cue points to uh, up to one step. So, uh, in fact, you can uh, have uh, with different scales. You can just kick in uh, with with the with the pattern. Okay, let's start some stuff again by pressing Shift and Start. You start the whole row, or you you change the whole row. I will, I will change now the whole row to suit the whole row is triggered. it depends on uh, how you order it uh, 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 start. also if, if you press start at an uh, empty spot it will take the first uh, position uh, uh, there so if I start, press start here it will uh, start this one that's why also if I press shift and start here to, to uh, um, start the whole row then it also takes a, a zero of F here and a zero D here. So we'll do it now. And they don't belong to this song, so uh, it's not too, bad, uh, too much. They can also see nice uh, uh, how they are playing, so they can just play in, uh, independent from each other. Even here in this pattern, it's it's only 15 steps instead of 16. You see that it's uh, different uh, uh, that it has different timings. Okay. Uh, then again, even if the timings are wrong. Uh, even if the timings are wrong or like you have like uh, patterns with uh, auto timings you can resynchronize them again uh, and that's with the note uh, menu you hold the shift key and press the note button and it gets some options so you can always undo uh, uh, something, the last uh, thing you did uh, and that's the resync all tracks press OK, it will uh, automatically resync with the next uh, uh, zero cross of the main clock. So that's what it did and uh, all the odd tracks are synchronized again together. Um, so let's go back to the uh, nerd screen, it's a uh, shift and nerd. Uh, they have also uh, more functions so you can resynchronize one track and it will be then also uh, resynchronized to the main clock uh, at the zero cross and and you have different uh, 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 effects and you can uh, reset them to the uh, standard values again and the same for for a track uh, effect but that's more if, if you play live and you you had really uh, uh, 
you won't want to get to back to normal again you can just uh, reset uh, them there now we'll scroll down to the part uh, with all the change patterns uh, which create a song and I will show you some other features so I press shift and start and it starts playing most uh, of the patterns of the song are 64 steps but there are also 16 step patterns in there so in there the, the track and the rows will uh, run first and you will see it in a minute um, what I will show now while it's playing to show the demute functions and um, so you can mute the track for example I will mute uh, the bass drum now press shift down and start oh that was not the bass drum now it's the bass drum and bring it back mute the same for the strings and bring it back so you can uh, mute uh, multiple tracks but you can also solo tracks and uh, that's actually the same you hold shift press the up button and press start down and here you will see like a 60 step patterns they run faster than the other ones here and mute again or solo again So that uh, was uh, Newton solo. Um, I think the song is uh, done in a second. Yes, and it uh, stopped uh, automatically because in one pattern there is a stop song command. Okay, uh, that's all uh, for this uh, tutorial and uh, I'm sure I forgot something. Also, if you new functions uh, added later on, they will also be covered in your tutorials. Thank you for watching and bye.